Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at Dunder STR method in Python. So let's take an example here. So I'm going to define a class called person. Okay, I'll just define init method as well. And this will accept self and also name. So if the user doesn't pass anything, we'll just pass uh, world. Okay, something like that. So now let's initialize name variable. So self dot name equals name. I will now define a function. Uh, let's call it say hello. Okay, and it will just return hello and we'll pass this self dot name here. Okay. Now let's create a object variable to this class. Let's say person and we'll pass um, John. Okay, so if I say uh, p dot say hello and if I print this, it says hello John. Okay. So what happens if I don't call any any method here and if I just try to print P, which is this object, let's see what happens. So here we can see we got some random address value. So in order for us to, you know, properly uh, understand what this class is about, we have to use something called Dunder STR method. Okay. So let's say, let's define that. So double underscore str, double underscore, and we'll pass self, and we can just return um, this class is about people, okay? And now, if I try to print this object p, we get this class is about people. Okay, if we don't have this str method defined uh, inside of this uh, person class, we'll just get some random, uh, you know, random address value. So in order for us to get the definition of this class, we can just use double underscore str and we can pass some string. And if we print, we'll get this classes about people. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.